Pablo's at the kind of stage, he's still quite worried and not at all certain about what he's doing. He has heard a bang before, and what I'm going to do now is to just step to one side. Now this is a dummy launcher, but it actually fits to your shoulder like a, I use it like a gun. Now I don't use it for shooting, bang, dummies a long way away because I think that that's a, a bad mistake for most people when they're training their own dog. It's all right if you're an enthusiast and you want to retrieve 100 yards away. But for me, I use these plastic dummies and I shoot them probably into the ground a bit more than I would do further away. So that the dog has every opportunity of seeing where they fall and uh, as it's like a gun and you put it to your shoulder, the dog gets used to following your uh, line of fire and what you're doing and it's my very first uh, introduction to a real bang. I'm going to bang this across there just to see whether it will just give him a little bit more enthusiasm about what he's been doing because he's just starting to say, oh, I think our training session is long enough. I'm just going to try it and see and then I'll do a bit more with him and see how he goes. Good boy. Good boy. Sit up. Good boy. Good boy. Now you haven't actually seen that, have you? Because it went so quickly. But it's up a clear place here. Pablo, fetch it. Get on now. Get on. Get on, Pablo. Get on. Get on. Get on. Get on. Get on, Pablo. Get on. Lost, 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 lost. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Come on, Pablo. Good boy, good boy. Sit down. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Now, that was quite interesting because it was right into the wind and it, do, it did what it does a number of occasions. He couldn't possibly see that. It went so quickly he couldn't see it. But where it hit the ground, it bounced over and over several times through the rough grass. You get the, the smell of the powder, which is a help, and it was drawing him on, and he worked out the line of that, a real treat. So that was a, a little bit of an advantage that he gained from that that I wasn't expecting. I was rather hoping that he was going to mark it. He didn't, but we used it to our own advantage in the end. A dog like him, I would soon get because he is quite st steady in all respects. I'll soon get so that if I threw a dummy for him, and I will do it now, in a position where he could see it, I'd get myself prepared, and then as he was on the way back, I'd fire this off to one side. Now, what we're doing with a dog like him, we're preparing him for the occasion that he might one day be out in the shooting field. He's on his way back with the retrieve, and something else, either another bird shot or a rabbit runs across in the shot, and we want him to uh, ignore that and to come on to us. So we're setting the foundations of that in, the, in our training ground where we have full control of the situation, rather than waiting until it arises in the shooting field and then trying to do something about it. Good boy. There's a good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Sit up. Pablo, get on, get on. Good boy, come on, Pablo. Come on, man. Good boy, Pablo. Come on, man. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. Good boy. Sit up. Pablo, come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Come on, Pablo. Good boy. Come on. Good boy. Sit up. Good boy, good boy. We'll remember, only the best is good enough, and it doesn't matter what stage of training we're at, if he's going to start willy wonking around us and go, oh dear, I'm a bit worried about this, we want to be doing something to make it work correctly. I don't know whether he actually saw that or not, but we're going to take advantage of it, because what I'm going to do is to throw a dummy out here, which he can see quite easily. And now, 
because we know that he'll work on the stop whistle, we're going to try and send him for this one. Fabulous. Get on. Get on. Get on. Get on. Get on. Get on. On. Get on. Get on, Fabulous. Come on. Get on, get on, get on, get on, get on. 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 Good boy. Good lad. Come on, lad. Good boy. Good boy. Come on, lad. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. A couple of interesting points to pick up there. One was that he wanted to go the couple of places we'd given the other dummy, which was fine, that was expected. But I blow the whistle, and now he didn't sit right down. Now, if he'd have been a really forceful dog that was full of himself, I would have insisted on him sitting down and then really listening to me. But as he stood and was looking, I didn't want to frustrate him or worry him anymore. So I give a deliberate, I get him to stand and look at me and I give him a deliberate signal and notice how you move yourself, body language is what you need. You stop the dog, on, deliberate, deliberate, on. And then it still doesn't quite work and I'm getting a bit closer to it. I'm trying to put him in a winning position. You blow the whistle again, on, until eventually the penny drops, he gets wind of it and picks it. But he's learned that if he listens to me, stop, followed immediately by go, which feeds him what he most wants, his heart, most desires, that's to say the retrieve. So what you do, you're not saying stop, damn you, and that's an unfortunate thing for me, you're saying stop, and I'll give you something that you would like. So he learns that if he listens to me, he's going to end up with what he actually requires the most. Good boy.